Before the episode begins, I have a bizarre clip to show you from the artist of today's episode, Mr. Salvador Dali. Enjoy. Good morning. Is Lord on the first time Dali born with any kind of traumatism? Little blood, symbolic blood. And milk again. And some symbolic fish of Mediterranean people. This is the blood of Gala and the blood of Divine Tabu. So first off, this is different. Uh, we're in a different environment. You want to explain why, Jack? So we're at my house we're because we're house. also doing a critical and cynical. Uh, depending on, most likely this will be released first. I don't know. It's at my house. This is an unreleased episode. <laughs> Probably. Film. Yes. Yeah. And only yeah. and also so we can watch um, because we can't watch Netflix or Hulu or YouTube or Disney Plus or Disney anything. Disney Plus on we can't Friday. watch anything upstairs because the TV's not. Uh, probably installed or not. <laughs> Screw it. Talk about what we watch. Anyways, we're in a fancier environment than usual because we watched a very. Fancy. We're at the Grand Destino Hotel. <laughs> the whole entire short is is called Destino. There we go. This is like night day. You were saying legendary. I'm shut up. I'm <laughs> uh, short film where half a century later they completed it with CGI. Stop crying, Jack! It's supposed to be serious! Walk okay. Oh god, I'm tearing up! Okay, here we go. <laughs> is the, is, Don't is the TIE this. Fighter gonna, not helping! Is the TIE Fighter gonna come and she get to jump over? <laughs> it's not even time! We're not even a second in! We're gonna have to restart it again. <laughs> Brand it's small. So if you guys don't know Destino, does anybody want to explain it? Yeah, it's on Disney Plus. <laughs> does anyone want to explain it? Go ahead. What it is or what I thought it was? Do you um, know what is your as your analytical, analytical okay, okay, let me just let me point this out first. Alter. There's some severe Illuminati shit going on. <laughs> I'll tell you that. This film, uh, this short, it was uh, only released in the, the Fantasia 2000 Blu-ray. It has a one hour and 22 minute documentary on this film. On a seven minute short. On film. a seven minute short. Because it was never completed. So this is a product of like 70, 80 years. Oh, so there was a whole years. thing about um, US trying to get Mexico off communism. So they sent a bunch of people over there to go do art things. Mm -hmm. you know, Mexico was great. And they said, Sound of Darling, Walt Disney. It's a whole this, other thing. It was, um, I know there was another film that, what was it called? The, the cobbler had a similar situation. The, well, the cobbler, cobbler yes, and but that, that wasn't Disney until the that whole wasn't line, Disney. Until they, okay. I have power over people, though they may appear complex. For me, they fall like playing cards, and I control the depths. <laughs> But the whole idea is that Walt Disney was so impressed by Salvador Dali's work. Um, and if you guys don't know Salvador Dali, any of you film majors out there, he made a film He's with- He's got a big ass mustache. He does, but he also made a film that a lot of film people watch. It's called On Chat de Lourdes. It's a French film, but it's very surreal. There's, there's, it's very controversial. It's, uh, it's one of those films where it's like, you have to like, it's on YouTube, it's public domain, but it's like, um, it's very cut-eyed, I would uh, say. 
Uh, do you want? I don't think that you really need to explain anything else other than nope. that. No. But anyways, I did not see that thing. coming. I did not see that, that knife cut through that girl's eye. Anyways. Uh, You're gonna sit on it. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> it's not supposed to be. Welcome to the G Things Disney the unreleased episode. You're gonna cut her face open like Unchin on Oh, there's the moon for Unchin on Yeah, but they're not gonna cut her face open. Oh, there they are. Probably a lot of references to that. She is naked now. Well, she is. Yes, she is. But it's covering everything. It's see through. See <laughs> Literally see through. The oh, there's see the eyes. Cut them. Cut them. Cut them. Oh, that's a that's that's a phallic. That's phallic. There's an eyeball. Hey, Joe Geiger loves this movie. I love this movie. <laughs> oh, there's the I can stay in a hotel themed with this new woman. So it opens on a naked woman. She got no nothing though, um, and she goes up to the Illuminati Triangle, <laughs> and then the Illuminati Triangle has a clock and a man in it, and the man's trying to get out of the Illuminati Triangle. And then there's a big spiral, and she dances up the spiral, and there's another man coming up, yes. and then um, the, man, the man. There's a bunch of stuff. Um, there's eye, their hands coming out of eyes, awesome. and then she goes, she's up the spiral thing, and then she jumps off, and she comes with Bell. There's a lot and of the guy sees her, and he goes, "Oh, I love you so much, I guess." Speaking of and Bell, then he, and sure then he rips himself out of the Illuminati Triangle, but he goes into right. a giant Tech like gladiator arena. Notification of the two the, the nightmare woman says return the slab from Purge the Cow. What? Wait, 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 as two tortoises. Return the slab. Oh, suffer my curse. And then the guy turns and did a um paper. Holly gets the woman's hat out of the park. Heads go rolling. But you guys, uh, you're good, that's good. Also, his name is Walter Disney. <laughs> yeah, you now have to address him as By uh, your Walter. highness, Walter Disney? Yes, your highness, Walter Di your highness. Anyways, what did you guys think of that seven minute short? I was so... Oh, well, Jack missed the first five minutes of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Jack, you, you, guys, you guys should explain this, because I can't explain Well, it. before we even start, Jack, or uh, Brandon made a joke. We were recording for another video, and uh, Brandon made a joke about Star Wars. And I'll just, you know, I'll just cut to the clip. I'll just cut to the clip. Thank you. And that, since Brad was originally a Beagle Bradican, can I call Brandon Brandon Kim? Alright. No. Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna call you a hack. Because <laughs> I just realized. Can I call you a Star Wars hack? Oh, I hate Star Wars. Look at my a thousand Star Wars action figures. <laughs> I hate this movie. That being said. <laughs> I have all of them. <laughs> Every one. <laughs> when that Jar Jar Black series comes out... <laughs> oh my god, you're, <laughs> <laughs> you're killing him. But anyways, Destino. What'd you guys think? Um, they got a hotel out of it. <laughs> yeah, um, well, they just made a hotel for the Grand Destino. So, so the bell symbolized the notification bells on YouTube. Yeah, Shut, you up. Should. Shut up. Shut up. It was all a dream. God damn it. The woman, she's like Belle. When I touch her, she makes sense. Why are you making fun of this? Is this not a G Thanks Disney episode? Well, ni well, neither was um, Roadside Romeo, really. It's not a Disney movie. No, no, no. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. The beginning. So is that on Disney Plus? Yeah. This is now on Disney Plus. That's oh, Roadside Romeo on Disney Plus. No, they took this off Disney Plus. <clears throat> no, this is gonna be on Disney Plus. No. It's January 10th. Beautiful. So, what was the affiliation with the uh, actual last player? He made it. Oh, oh. semen. <laughs> what? Semen. <laughs> I was interested in it and it's like wait why is Salvador Dali so obsessed with eyes? It's so like it's Dali like, is I like the part more... where they straight up took from his other movie. It, it's, it's, like like it's, like it's like how it's like how hand. it's like how HR Geiger is obsessed with male gen and female genitalia. 
Only in this case, all of her dollies obsessed. She, oh yeah, she goes in a shell before she goes up the, uh, the thing. A lot of the the whole paintings that you see in there is just all of Salvador Dali's paintings. The melting clocks. The melting clocks, the melt, anything melting. Was, wasn't the guy called Kronos like he was melting? Yes, so the whole idea of this short is that it's supposed to represent the life of Kronos. It's supposed to be a representation of his life and his love for a certain woman that he fell in love with in a Greek like tragedy. It's very hard to talk about it for the first time. You would have to watch it a bunch of times to yeah, like catch up on it. I've never heard of this before, and I, I. It was one of the hidden films that Disney like hid, but like they don't like they don't well, like it hide it from controversy. It wasn't finished. That was the yes. whole yeah. thing. But, like, That's why I thought oh, it was not finished. Top thief and the cobbler because it was a similar situation, kind of. Yes, with this though, it's very hidden underneath the rug and the Disney Plus is put, has put this on. Did they not finish it because it was too ambitious for the time? Probably. That's I mean, probably why they use computers and stuff. But then again, it came out, it, it, it was like written and yeah. like drawn in 1946. The so they could have done have it. The, the concepts. The concept is the, the whole mixed media, you know, like how you can mix art and kind of like kind of like what Pix in a way kind of what Pixar does when they do the Pixar shorts. Right. Like what usually have depending on which one. The usually, mater ones usually have no dialogue. All the mater ones coming to Disney well, Plus. Usually they have no dialogue. Six. <laughs> So they, they, this was made, and then years later they finished it with a bunch of CGI. Oh, I really yeah. couldn't tell. Wow. Oh, okay. they're coming in. Oh, they're singing the elephant song. It's the same kind of typical singing you hear from his early Disney cartoons. Oh, he's free. He's got a watch hand. Ah, uh, uh, there it is. On That's Chandelier. straight up on Chandelier. Yep. Oh, riding a bike. That's on Oh, there a French who had the baguettes on the head. <laughs> oh, it's Martin Prometheus making people out of Putnam. Yeah, bring it back to Frankenstein. Uh oh. Oh no, it's Sam Man. It's Buddy. It's, it's Thomas Hayden Church, oh no. I do music. like the music. Yeah, it's very homage to the whole uh, like Spain. Well, Spain, uh, Spain music, Spanish uh, composing music. Tiki room, but tiki room. Huh? But it's supposed to also be a little bit of like you know when the the nineteen forties kind of like, like old tiny audio cartoons, kind of like Cinderella kind of yeah. Cinderella, chorus, kind of chorus music. Yeah, and in, I like the the guitars. I like I, I really do like this short. Mm, the baseball. The baseball. Yeah, that, that was, was weird. That's American that was even weird for Salvador Dali because you're like, yeah. what are their base? I th they, like you were Brandon. You're like, yeah, Walt Disney probably had to probably put that one in yeah. there. You think? The skinny it's Babe Ruth, which he, maybe yeah. Salvador Dali was like a secret baseball fan. I mean, it could have been. I like. It could have been. It could have been. It couldn't have been Babe Ruth though. It could have no, been a no Spanish, way. like a Spanish baseball player. It could have been like. Yeah. That still makes no sense. Disney yeah. uh, made a hotel recently called the Grand Destino. Yeah. So I was solely off this film, the whole hotel is themed to this. It's cool. I like this film. I don't know about you guys. Um, I wouldn't call it a film, personally. I mean... It's a short film. It's, it's a, a short film. Okay, yeah. yeah. Short, short film. film. I'll call it a I, short film. I thought it was cool and interesting to see. I like the animation. I like... I, I, I do In general, hate the it, choppiness, though. But I, I felt like that, that was, was fine. That was... Yeah, I, I understand that. It kind of felt like they're quick fades, but I, I know that's yeah. the intention. I'm going back to the and the Beauty I'm, I'm and the Beast. Back. I can't do this shit anymore. Anyway, the so. Beauty and the Beast Anyways, fell. wrap it up. I like it. Um, um, liked it? Yes or no? Right, it just, you know, was really rad. What? Um, you said wrap it up. I said wrap it up. Wrap it. But what do you think of it, Brandon? So it was pretty good. It's definitely worth a watch. When it's on Disney Barely Plus. seven minutes. It's very historical. Just to look at it. It was so amazing. It made me laugh at something completely unrelated. It broke Jack. It broke Jack. It broke Jack. <laughs> it broke me. I Run literally cried. Words. Happy tears. Run, naked man. Run.
They said that they said it. They said the title. The title dropped out. Oh. My God. Oh, it's paper. <laughs> he, he just starts to expand in size to, to become a Ah! Oh. It's like Patty and Soma. It's hers apparently dark. <laughs> The baseball card was Walt Disney. Like, I want to put baseball in it. Hey, it's Walter Disney. Oh, no, it's this. Walter Disney, Brandon. Walter. She's in his heart forever, and she's a bell. And then the things from the beginning of Bugs Life. Destino. Rated R. Or NC 17. Whichever. See, there she's naked. Wee oui, wee. Oui. That was, that was the hottest Disney film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stunned. That was the singer of the, um, of the, of the, of the, um, Tiki Room, right? Well, it sounds like typical kind of opening Disney songs for, for the earlier movies. The wonderful world of colors. Ass cheeks. In a Disney film. Rated R. Alright. When are we getting into live action adaption? Ah! When are we getting a live action adaption? What do you guys want to watch now? Um, I have an idea. What do you have in order? What's your idea? I think I might have an idea. What's your idea? How about a world first? Oh no, are we going back to India? Yeah! No, no trip! No. Oh, I have you like no. Marvel movies? No! Oh no. Oh no. I'm Martin Scorsese and I hate everything. Let's go! <laughs> Uncut Gems is one of So was Joker. <laughs> it's disgusting. 